I don't remember any moment like this in my life. Then a sudden jerk snapped his body back and it was over. John witnessed Bundy's execution in Florida's electric chair 30 years ago, and he said Bundy did not appear to be in stress or shock. His demeanor was puzzling to all of us as we, 40 witnesses in there, and I'm sure going through everybody's head in there, is why is he smiling at us? John is now working on a documentary with Tony Panaccio, who also witnessed the execution. That's how they met. The best way I could describe his demeanor in the room before he sat down was almost like a performer on closing night. Bob Deagle was the state attorney who prosecuted Ted Bundy, and he saw the same thing at his trial. It was all about him. He wanted uh, as much attention as he possibly could have. Was Ted Bundy mentally ill? He wasn't right, but he wasn't mentally ill. Uh, he knew the difference between right and wrong, he just didn't care. Bundy confessed to some 30 murders just before he died, dragging out his confessions to try to delay his execution. Who knows how many young women he really killed. This is a serial killer in front of you unlike any we'd ever known in our time. And that fed the attention that Bundy craved. John saw it firsthand. Goodbye, Ted Bundy, goodbye. The scene outside. Ted Bundy, you're dead! Was like, a, was a, a carnival. It was, people were jumping up and down, people were yelling, people were applauding, people were clapping, especially when his hearse went by. We were all glad to get rid of him, There's, I'm not saying that, but it was a different tone for those of us who were inside. 30 years later, he reflects on the need to reflect. Very few like Ted Bundy, but there are others who have killed many people. I think we need to know much more about our, about our society and who we are and what makes us who we have become. Um, we don't know nearly enough about that. <laughs>